Okay. Uh, in the first lecture, or chapter two, talk to you about create base feature. Okay, it was creating base feature. What do you mean by base feature? That after you start the Autodesk Inventor, you click a new, you choose the unit, you choose the template from here, and then you choose, uh, after choose the template metric or English, and then you choose the standard part, the part, and go down, choose the work plane, and then create your sketch, okay? This is called the base feature, okay? Choosing the work plane, create to do the 2D sketch, and after you create the 2D sketch, once you finish, like this one, and make extrude, this will be your first feature, okay? Today, we are done from the first feature. See, extrude or revolve could be loft or sweep, but now we will postpone this for later. Later, we'll talk about them. Now, let's focus on extrude and revolve. I will show you what was uh, the first lecture, how we are creating the base feature. We go to new, uh, choose English or metric. Let's say I choose metric, standard part millimeter, okay, and create. Once you are here, you choose the work plane, let's say this work plane, and I told you, remember to copy project geometry and choose access, this one and this one, so you can use, and let's say first rectangle. You can say 20 tab on the keyboard and 40. Okay, once you finish and you click extrude, here okay if you notice here you will not find something called output you will not find you only can make extrude build one thing only extrude build okay you cannot cut you cannot do anything because you don't have object you are here you, you don't have anything you want to create the first object you click and then you is let's say 10 and say okay today's lecture is about chapter this was chapter two okay today's lecture chapter five it's called sketch secondary feature the second feature okay secondary feature extrude or revolve second feature okay so what is the second feature mean to me or how can I manage to deal with the second feature? I have three options for the second feature. I can either add material, I can remove material, I can intersect with the material, okay? Okay. Now I will see how, after you create the first feature, the second feature, I can add, subtract, intersect. Let's see how we can do this. Let's say I have this shape, okay? And from the side view, from here, I came here, and I create like this. Let's say. Yeah, like this one. Once I click finish and I go to extrude and I let's say I say uh, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, everything here. Okay. If you choose, if I choose to do trim, I will, uh, it, would, it will be much easier for me. I have output here, see? I can add, join, cut, intersect, okay? Let's start with add. 
if you create, if you select, let's say, okay, now this shape is added to the old shape. Of course, you can change the direction from here. Uh, change the direction like this, see? So this is secondary feature. So this is base, first one, this is secondary. Okay, what if I don't want to add? I can do cut material, see? You can cut material. Of course, sometimes when you do cut material, don't don't forget to look to the arrow. If the arrow is like this to the other side and you click OK, the software will give you error that we cannot cut material because there is no material in the other side and out. So you have to say accept and you have to go again, edit feature and change the direction to the other side. Here you can find through all. If you click through all, it will make it until the end through all. It will subtract. Or you can say edit feature and specify distance, either by drag the arrow or just type value. At the same time, you can make angle like five degree or 20 degree at the end. See, to do like this. Okay, from here, edit feature. Add angle, 10 degree, zero. You can, uh, when you, you make the degree 10, you can make it inward. But in this case, it will not fit. So must choose something small. It will not fit. Minus one, minus 0.5, like this. So small angle can fit in this case. Okay, edit feature. There is option also to choose to next. Two, as an example, let's say you have something like this. I will, uh, I will delete this feature. I will keep the sketch. I will edit the sketch so it will not make me struggle when I pick. I have to trim. I will trim all these. Okay, so again, I will finish. I will, I will, I will do something else. Let's say I have here sketch here before this one, and I have a square in this area, and I have extrude until here. Okay. Now this sketch number two is doesn't have anything. See, sketch number extrude number three has sketch three. Can you see under under this one? Sketch one has, extrude one has sketch one. Sketch two ha, has nothing. So you can use it by click on extrude. Cut. If we click through all, it will remove also this area, see? If you select specific distance, as I said before, it can go to here, 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 whatever you want. Or you can go C2 and select this face. It will stop here. Okay? This is called 2. If you don't want to choose, you can say edit feature. You can say 2 next. Okay? To the next feature. Edit feature. Now this is called join. This is called uh, cut. This is called intersect. Let's see what intersect do. If you click on intersect and click OK, it will only keep the area that intersect between the two solid, two extrude, and extrude number one, extrude number two. This one 
is the combination between both of them when they are intersect together. So edit feature, intersect. Of course, you can add angle, and you can add angle, flip the direction of the angle. Okay, so this is number three, intersect. If I click join, not intersect, join, and I say I want to uh, to make it to this one, join. I can click here in something at the end. Can you see here the end one? Not join, not cut, not new solid. If I did this, if you go here to model browser, you find here I have only one solid in the model browser. Can you see one solid? If you click here in new solid, this one will become two. See? Solid one and solid two. So this one has no, no no relation to this one. It's a new solid. They are not connected. Let's try to make fillet and see if they are connected. If you put fillet here or here, let's say fillet one, it it will take the fillet only to this edge. It didn't take this edge with it with this one. Why? Because they are not connected. But if I do like this, delete and edit feature. I don't want it to add it as a new solid. I want to join it. Okay. So now go to fill it. See? It will take both, both of them as a one as a one object. Did you get the point? So there is join. I will delete this one. There is join. Okay, you can ask me when I need to make join, when I need to make a new solid. Most of the time make it join or cut or intersect don't make new solid don't make it okay unless unless you want to make something for later to to deal with it yani as an example if i say edit feature and i click new solid and i said okay then later i might move this solid i say move and click on this one and click on five move and then again move this body this one, I want to move it in y direction, 10, and here 0. OK. Uh, no, undo. Let's say, again, move this one in z, 5. Zero. Say 10 here. Okay, so here, as an example, I moved the body. See, when I click on move, I, I move the body. Let's say, again, zero and in Z, uh, two, like this. Now I can go to, as an example, combine and click subtract on this one and this one. See? See, now I, I use the and return to solid one only to one solid instead of two so what i'm trying to say that if you are not sure where to move the body where to move the object where's the location you can create it as solid new solid and later you can combine make intersect or cut or add or from the beginning delete stop delete for moving from the beginning don't make it as a new I don't recommend you to make as a new. All the time, join, cut, or subtract. I will make it join. So here is the object. OK. Um, let's go to our. Uh, this is applicable for extrude and for revolve. Let's see how we revolve the object and how to deal with it. File, new, standard parts millimeter, create. 
start to the sketch. I choose one here. Let's say I click rectangle 15 tab 2. Let's say I, I choose here to add this one to tab 15 again. Okay. And I will create line to use it as axis of revolution. And I will try to trim this one and this one. I will finish. Let's say revolve around this one. I will choose, if I choose like this 360, I will have this shape. But here, I think this is 180 only. So I will click here, modify, right click, edit feature, and I make this one 180. I will look to it. I will flip the direction. 180, but down. Okay, now I have this object. Let me go again and start to the sketch on this face. And I will create here in the rectangle. Let's say two, tab two. Okay. Uh, let's say I want to draw axis of revolution again. Finish. Now, if I click revolve, I will find also I have add, join, cut, intersect. Okay. If I click on join and I click on the axis of revolution, this one, I can flip the direction, click OK. See, I did similar to this one. I added body to my object, this one. Now I want to do subtract, remove material. I will go here, right click, edit feature. And instead of making add, join, make cut, and click OK. See, what happened is you removed material. OK. What if you did intersect? If you did intersect this part, and this part, only the area that intersects with the body will be taken into account, which is only this ring, like here. Can you see it? There. So this is with regard to add, subtract. To next, also we learn how to do to next or to deal with it. Let's say we have, um, I will make I will delete this one and I will make this edit feature, let's say 360. Okay. Uh, let's say I want to have something here. I want to extrude this one down. Add. Okay, like this. Now, uh, if I want to try to, to add, example, I have work plan here. And I have sketch here. Say three. Okay. I want to click. Uh, extrude. If you click OK, 
it will start from here to outside, but between it will be empty. See? Okay. I will edit feature. I will flip the direction. If I specify through all and say, did like this, it will make ah, this is the not cut, this is add. If I click edit feature cut and through all, it will create hole from the beginning to the end. Okay. If you say edit feature again and say uh, to next and click OK, what will happen? It will automatically ignore this area and go to next surface. This is the next surface. This is the first surface. And from inside, it's the next surface, the next body. Okay? Okay. Edit feature. If I go to the last one, two, then you can pick. Let's say I want to pick this area, or I want to pick pick uh, this face. Then you can say okay. You can do it. Okay. I want just to clarify something that when I pick, maybe this one is not all the way through. Maybe the shape is like this. Let's say you have shape like this. And I don't want this one to reach here. I want it to reach here. Okay? Yeah, what I'm trying to say that you can pick when you say to next. When you say to next or all. You can flip the direction. You can choose the angle. Let's say 20 or 10. Uh, not this one, this one edit feature uh, let's say 20 you can create something like this see okay let's move to other thing use existing geometry by using offset and project geometry okay this is very important let's say I have something like this I will delete this one and I will uh, delete this hole. I will keep it, but I will remove the angle. I will make it zero. Like this. Okay. Let's say I have. Uh, don't worry about using the work plane because later I will explain to you how to use the work plans. Okay. We have chapter about work plane. Let's say I have something like this. I want to make sure that my profile is closed. OK. OK. Finish. Extrude. Let's say I have something like this. OK. I want to use this profile here this profile to make copy from this profile i can go to start to the sketch here click here and then go to project geometry and then you can click either on this line alone or press on the surface here in the middle if you press here right click okay you will find lines are yellow and also here what does this mean you copy the geometry from the old feature. How can I use it now? I can go to offset, click on this geometry, and go down inside or outside. If I go inside, I can specify the, the distance, let's say 0.5. Then what you will be able to do, finish sketch, you can either extrude only this one, like this, see, or you can add edit feature, 
let's say delete this sketch clear selection okay clear selection and go here to this one if you cannot clear the selection or profile what you can do you can cl click control in the keyboard and it will be removed let's say i want this one i want to move it cut down okay see what happened okay so this used by project geometry and copy offset project and use offset okay do you remember that we have hole here this hole okay i want to draw one new hole here and let's say this hole is only two and not all the way through the hole has distance next to next to here to this this one only so the hole is next to this one so in this surface there is no hole down okay and there is no hole down see the powerful of project geometry i can copy the hole from here to this surface by just click start to the sketch go here click on this face go down to project geometry and pass the cursor just pass the cursor you will find lines you will find and then you will find the circuit see if you click on the circle now it will become copied from the above this one if you finish and make extrude you can either come extrude to this area or you can cut if you cut to the other side see it passed through this one or add as an example to this one see i'm just want to show you that they are in the same center okay okay so i've said copy geometry project geometry share sketch let's learn more about share sketch okay i am here if i click now extrude the software will ask me to create first sketch and then make the extrude but i don't want to create a sketch again i want to use this sketch here i go to this sketch now this one and right click and search for share if you couldn't find share that means this already shared see it's already shared i have share here can you see this icon share so just make the visibility on it will be shared now if you click extrude you can use it okay what if the sketch is not shared like this one this has no share icon go to this sketch right click and make share and it will have the share icon like this one now go to extrude and click on this one and you will be able to make let's say down cut so i used share sketch all the time you can go right click share and you will create copy see anyone right click share if you click on share this one will become available to us to choose i can come here and click and make extrude okay so this is share sketch let's see what we have now uh, 10 minutes i want you to practice creating secondary feature like after you create the first feature you add to it or cut to it or subtract from it okay